All right, so let's talk thermals. Um, we're using the Presso Smart Shot here. Coffee is super complex, it's super interesting. Extraction temperature is one variable that impacts flavor, but another one is drinking temperature. So we're gonna experience different flavors on our tongue depending on what temperature the espresso is in its final cup. Yeah, 68, 68 and a half. Yeah. Higher temperature doesn't mean better. Higher temperature means different and often faster drawing of flavor, extraction of flavor from your coffee grounds. The flavors that are really easy to access, the ones that happen uh, right at the beginning of extraction, are actually not very nice. But when you get the pressure equation right, which the, the smart shot technology does for us, and when the temperature is in a good extraction zone, we're gonna draw those good flavors out. Probably water going in the top, somewhere between 90 and 100, 100 degrees. And probably this extraction temperature is gonna start somewhere in the 60s and it's rapidly gonna rise up and probably peak in the 80s. What does happen is if the temperature is too high or the pressure is too high or you brew for too long, which could be determined by your grind size or other variables, then you're gonna pull out undesirable flavors from the coffee, long chemical compounds that really dominate flavor profiles. So we're trying to avoid those two extremes. Under extraction, really simple chemicals that can taste quite bad, and over extraction, really complicated chemicals that dominate the flavor profile, make everything feel and taste a little rough. The drinking temperature also impacts flavor. A relatively normal temperature range will be somewhere between 60 and 70 degrees for your final kind of one ounce espresso. A lot of the aroma from coffee is volatile uh, aromatic compounds. Everything we can smell, it's a gas appearing, and we're either smelling it through our nose as we bring it to, towards our lips, or we're smelling it in the back of our throat through, through our um, retronasal system. And our brain combines the sweet sensations, uh, bitter sensations with these aromatic compounds and we create a picture in our mind of, ah, oh, it's like caramel, it's like vanilla, it's like strawberries. And all of that is super interesting, but it only really happens well in that window between kind of body temperature, 30 degrees, and maybe 50, 55 degrees. As you go beyond that, you lose a lot of the nuance and a lot of the control. And so there's lots of things we can do to control that drinking experience. Leaving your portafilter in uh, hot water for maybe a minute beforehand, it should be hot to the touch when it comes out. Then dosing your coffee, then inserting it and brewing it straight away. We can minimize that temperature difference and you'll actually see uh, better impacts on your extraction. The simplest one is pre-warming your cup. What you're gonna find is because of the thermal mass of most cups, you're gonna lose up to 10 degrees just from that process of espresso hitting a cold cup. So if we pre-warm that, we, we take that edge away and we're gonna add 10 degrees to our final drinking temperature. 